ask any successful saltwater angler, kayak enthusiast, or recreational power boater, what's the key to enjoying the waters of the Timucuan Preserve? Most will reply, understanding the tides. If you plan on boating in the preserve, it is imperative that you understand the dynamics of the tides. Of all national park units in Florida, the greatest tide fluctuations occur in the Timucuan Preserve. This means that some areas, most notably creeks, can be navigable at high tides, but six hours later that same creek will be only inches deep at low tide. Tide stage is a description of what the tide is doing at any given point in time. Low tide is the minimum water depth for a particular cycle. At low tide, the water is not moving at all. As it begins to move and depth begins to increase, the tide is rising, flooding, or incoming. Tide height is the vertical distance the water rises or falls due to the magnitude of the tide. If, for instance, tide height is predicted at 3.2, it means water depth will be 3.2 feet above the reference plane used to construct the navigation charts of Northeast Florida. A predicted tide height of 3.2 feet means that the water at slack high tide will be 3.2 feet higher than the depth indicated on the chart. If a low tide is predicted at negative 0.1 feet, and six hours later, the high tide is predicted to be 2.2 feet, the tidal range will be 2.3 feet. Tidal range is important in that it will tell you how much water will be moving during the course of that tidal change. If the range is large, a lot of water will move and depths will change rapidly. The reverse is true if the tidal range is small. Current is defined as the speed of the water as it moves from high to low, or vice versa. Generally, maximum current occurs about halfway through both the incoming and outgoing tides. Currents diminish towards the full high or full low slack periods. A tidal day lasts 24 hours and 50 minutes long, and the period in which the moon goes through all of its phases is 29.5 days long. Boaters quickly learn to round off these changes by predicting that the next day's tides will occur an hour later than the present day's tides. Learning this natural cycle is vital to understanding and enjoying our inshore waters.